Hello students, today we'll be uh, studying about some genetic disorders like Mendelian disorders and chromosomal disorders under the chapter principle of inheritance and variation. So what are Mendelian disorders? So as we have discussed previously that Mendel has explained what is factor or genes. So if any mutations or changes are happening within a gene, a single gene, it will be called as Mendelian disorders. Okay, so Mendelian disorders can be uh, dominant, recessive, or it can be X-linked. Okay, dominant uh, disorder means, so we know that we have uh, two copies of each chromosome and therefore we have two copies of each gene or two alleles of each gene, right? So if it is a, a dominant mutation, means if one of the gene is defective, then it will be giving the defective phenotype. Okay. Similarly, if it is a recessive disorder, both of the genes have to be defective to give a defective phenotype. Okay, we know that. We know the uh, principle of uh, dominance and recessive. Okay. In dominant, if only one gene is defective, the defective uh, phenotype will be coming for a recessive one both the genes has to be defective okay and here we are talking about the autosomes autosomes are uh, those chromosomes which are not a sex chromosome okay similarly if any defect is uh, due to the gene which is found on x chromosome chromosome that will be called sex-linked or X-linked inheritance. Like color blindness and hemophilia, they are both uh, due to the gene present on X chromosome. So in this case, what is very interesting is that female will mostly work as a carrier. Okay. And males are, because male have only one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, that's why males are mostly uh, affected. Females are also affected, but percentage is less, specifically in case of colorblind. In case of hemophilia, uh, hemophilic female doesn't exist, okay? Because hemophilic females, they are dying because of the disease and that's why they are not existing and the females are working as a carrier, right? Similarly, in case of sickle cell anemia, phenylketonuria and thalassemia, they are recessive disorders. In disorders. Detail of this we will see in the actual class. Next is uh, chromosomal disorders. What is chromosomal disorders? So here, chromosomal disorders are caused due to absence or excess or abnormal arrangement of any one of the chromosome, okay? So here, the whole chromosome is involved, not even a single gene, whole chromosome is involved. Okay, so here, uh, there will be a chromosome less, or maybe a chromosome more, or maybe the whole chromosome is abnormal. Examples are uh, Down syndrome. And Down syndrome is also called as trisomy 21. So here we already know that we have two copies of each chromosome. If it is chromosome number 1 or chromosome number 22 or X and Y chromosome, we have just two copies of each chromosome, right? In case of male, the uh, both the chromosomes are different. Otherwise, we have two copies of each chromosome. In trisomy 21, what happens? We have chromosome number 21 present three times. 21, 21, 21. Okay, so here, instead of 46 chromosomes, how many total chromosomes we have? We have 47 chromosomes because chromosome number 21 is present three times. That's why I called us trisomy 21. We will also talk what are the symptoms of these people. Next is Klinefelter syndrome. In this, there will be an excess X chromosome in case of male. In case of male, actually, there is only one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Here, there is one extra chromosome. So here also we have 47 chromosomes. There is one extra chromosome. Okay, such uh, people are infertile. Coming to Turner syndrome, Turner syndrome, there is one chromosome missing. 
so we call it as x0 or xo so a female which is having only one x chromosome next x chromosome is missing so here total how many chromosomes will be there it will be 46 minus 1 so there will be only 45 chromosomes and uh, this female will also be sterile okay detail about all these syndromes we will see in the in the actual class so don't miss the class thank you students